In this video, we're gonna take a look at another new feature with the Adobe Photoshop Generative Fill AI Beta, quickly and easily extending our image backgrounds. In another video, I've showed you how to get the new Photoshop beta and then how to replace parts of an image. Just to quickly go over that, you can download this by opening your Creative Cloud app on your computer, choosing apps on the top here, and then beta apps on the left side menu. At the top, you'll see the new Photoshop beta. Go ahead and download that. Once you have it installed, we'll take a look at how to extend an image background. I have this photo here of a guy standing on a cliff, but it's in portrait and I want it to be landscape. I could just adjust my canvas size and then scale the image up, but I want to have a bigger picture and keep him small still. We'll start by taking the crop tool here and scaling out to the right to create a landscape canvas. Next, choose the marquee tool and let's select the new blank space that we just added. A trick here that we found out is make sure to overlap some of your selection into the existing image like this. It's just been creating better results when we do this. When you release, you'll see the new generative fill menu appear. If you don't, you may have to turn it on by going up to window and then choosing contextual taskbar from this dropdown. Now that we have our new fill bar here, choose generative fill. On the next bar, leave the prompt empty and then hit generate. Let Photoshop do its magic, and when it's finished, it's gonna automatically fill your image with incredible results. When Photoshop does this, it also gives you three different variations. If you're not happy with the first fill, you can just hit the arrow buttons here to scroll through the other two options. You can then play around with this a little bit. Maybe if you do want something specific in the AI fill, you can then add a prompt before you hit generate, or you can just run it a few different times to see different results. This is just another one of those really cool time-saving features that Adobe is rolling out. It's not always gonna be perfect, but with a little bit of tweaking and some adjustments, it can get pretty good. And that's how you use the new generative fill AI to extend image backgrounds with the new Photoshop beta.